Hi folks, Glenn B. from BullseyesBoomers.blogspot.com show you a little something I learned here today about uh, shotgun ammo. I always thought that the uh, metal part of the shell on the shotgun ammo was brass, or in uh, the case of the silver stuff here was uh, nickel uh, or aluminum or some sort of an alloy along those lines. But I always figured that the ones that have the gold color were brass. Just like this 45 round here. See this little circular piece on the bottom of the big one is a magnet, pretty powerful one. I'll put it over there. And I'm about, I don't know, inch or two above it. It's not picking it up. Put these, uh, put these scissors there. They're pretty big. Let me show you what happens. Oops, sorry. <laughs> I had that upside down. There's that little magnet right down there. See that? That was uh, That's how far my my hand was about uh, that far from my finger up to the uh, blade of the scissors away from the scissors. Now I'm going to go back to the shell casings. I'm going to show you something that really surprised me. I found this out quite by accident today. There we go. There's that uh, silver colored case one. And there's a uh, Winchester Ranger and a Winchester Super Rex. Got picked right up by the magnet. That's, uh, I thought was something unusual. Apparently, though, I'll show you with these other brands here. The two green ones are Remington rounds. Uh, the one on the left is a Copper Sabbath, it's Copper Sabbath Slug. The other one is some uh, game load or target load. The other one is uh, Federal Premium Slug. The other one is Cellier and Beloit um, Buckshot. Again, the magnet could pick up three of them before the other two fell off. I had no clue that brass was magnetic. Did you? So I guess the I guess the truth of the matter is. That none of these, uh, none of the metal parts of the shell casings are made out of solid brass. Learn something new every day.